This is the next video in a series about the Spring Cloud Distributed Log Tracing System. In the previous video, I have explained all about the Spring Cloud Sleuth and we have also seen demo of this. We have seen introduction of Jekyll. What is this and why are we using this? In this video, I am going to show you how we can start the Jekyll server and subsequently we are going to use this Jekyll server in microservices and we will see how we can track the data and how we can see the latency information, timing information, all those. So this video is about Jepkin server. Let's go ahead and get started. So this is the Jepkin official website. So Jepkin is a distributed tracing system. All information you can read out here. And this is the nice user interface that we are going to get when we have started our service, our Jepkin server. And this is the diagram, dependency diagram that we are going to get. This way we can see all the information and see where to go next. Come here and to try out Jepkin, quick start guide, you have to come here and see the different options, how we can start the Jepkin. So we have option for Docker, we have option for Java also, you can directly run the from source code itself, but we can see easiest way, we can directly get the executable jar and latest release, it is going to download for me. So. I'm waiting for this jar to get downloaded and then we will start this one. We'll see the user interface. So yes, uh, so Jepkin jar is downloaded. So it is asking me to keep it or not. So I'm keeping it and going to download location. Okay, so this is the place where it has downloaded. So what I have to do here, I have to open the command prompt at the download location. And then to, to execute the jar, we have to in execute this command java hyphen jar the name of the jar file so it is starting from the jipkin so yes this is the name of the jar so just i have to press enter and rest of the things will be done by this jar executable right so this jipkin logo we are seeing it right so host name this and this this is going to start the this is uh, you can see the from starting it is a kind of the spring boot based application which is started the service started Jipkin server and where it is running on which port is it running you can get all the information here so uh, this server armeria server started at port 9411 so we have it is running on 9411 and http so go ahead and access this localhost 9411 so our Jipkin server is running on this port so this is the user interface that we have got here. We are seeing here different things, how you can query. So the filters that you are seeing, service name, all span name, you can get here remote service name. Look back, how uh, this is the uh, query based on the time, how much uh, of how much time of the log that you want to see. The sorting information you are seeing here. So duration, you can see which uh, as I as I have explained in the previous video, you can filter your request based on the how much time they are taking. This is here. This is the annotation query. So all this information, all this filtering that you can apply to the log. So as the, up now it is freshly started. There is nothing coming here. There is no source of information. There is no source of logs. That is why all of service name, span name, all of this is coming null, right? So when we have the log source it will populate the data automatically right other things this dependency dependency is the coolest thing that i love so this is the you can analyze the dependency right from here you can start time and time and this information analyze dependency we will get the graph here so as of now we have no data that is why we are not seeing any graph here any diagram so go to trash you can see the span id trash id here directly and it will show you all the log lines where it has it was there right so this is it so jipkin server we are going to use in this application that we have doctor portal doctor service so all the log information is being generated by this one this one all the services are generating logs so we are going to push all this log to jipkin server and then we will see the log information over there on jipkin server and then we will filter and all those information we can see right so i'll see in the next video with that part take care bye bye